welcome to Matthew's Friends Keto Kitchen and today we're joined by Chef Derek from Nutrition and we're doing Derek's Chocolate Workshop because I am looking at a whole array of amazing chocolate goodies and are you telling me these are all sugar free? These are all sugar free just for you. <laughs> amazing which is <laughs> going to be great. Let me whiz you through and tell right. you what I've got. Okay. So, the basic recipe which we're going to make, so it's like a fat bomb. So we're not using a liquid fat, we're going to use the ketocal, which is a fat powder. This doesn't then seize up the chocolate, so it still works like normal chocolate. Right. So they can be kept out, you don't need to put them in the fridge. We, don't, just we don't need to fridge them? Don't need to fridge them, they can just stay out wow. like normal chocolate. So it's I've kind of worked the recipe just so it's great for all of these things that we can say. Okay. Um. So we've got some chocolate covered nuts we've got brazils and we've got walnuts obviously nuts on the kids diet are great yeah not everybody can kind of chew and eat these so with the truffles we've got some freeze dried fruit in there with some sultanas it's softer to eat so it's better you kind of get that chew to it okay lovely um the lollipops <laughs> look fantastic uh, same again it's just the basic chocolate recipe and we're just going to decorate it um, and you can decorate it however you want to decorate it so we've got some little tips and tricks that we can take you through just to have a go um, and you can change these then the idea that I had was this is something that we can do all year round. So it's great for birthdays and Valentine's Day and Easter and Christmas and Thanksgiving yeah, and all, all of those these things. things. Um, so we've done a kind of little Christmas lollipop so people can still feel like they get involved. Um, and then we've done some um, cherries just covered in chocolate again, just so if you don't kind of want to go down the nut route, you've still got some fruit there. And I've got to say, the glitter because everything's a bit better if it's glittery. 100%. So, but all that is safe to use? It is. <clears throat> so we've got everything okay. that I kind of brought for you, just to say, and this is all available within supermarkets now, which is great. Brilliant. So the two powdered glitters, which we've got, yeah. silver and gold, um, we just got them from, you can get from Tesco, Sainsbury's, Waitrose, anywhere yeah. now. And they're just the little pump glitters. So once everything's done, you can coat that in anything. And they're literally, they're all sugar free. All sugar free. It's just the ground up dust. Um, right. The glitter, which is an edible glitter, make sure it is the edible one. This is a little bit more difficult to get hold of. Lakeland's really good at this, or you can get it from Amazon, or you can get it from Kate Decorated right. Stores. Okay. So these are more easily available. This is, you're going to kind of have to source. But once you've got that pot, it will last you forever and a day. Yeah. And if you're making Christmas cakes and birthday cakes and cupcakes, you can sprinkle it on and it's great. Fabulous. Kids love a bit of glitter oh, as well. They're just going to go I nuts I love a bit these. of glitter. Um, the shimmer spray as well, which is another great one. Um, comes out as a liquid, so great for covering big um, cakes. Right. Anything, shimmer. And if you're kind of not confident, you get it. Same again, get them in Tesco's, Asda, yeah. Sainsbury's. They're all there and you get silver and gold. So that's another option. Um, my Brilliant. favourite is the um, gold stars. Um, sometimes sold that like, you can put them into Prosecco or Champagne. Oh, but it's gorgeous. Just, um, gold. So cut into stone. So again, sugar free and you can use it and it really just kind of adds a bit of zing to everything that we're going to well, do. Well, it just lifts everything. I mean, they just look... I mean, with these lollies especially, you can like wrap them in the cellophane yeah. and give them to kids as treat. I mean, those are just a wonderful treat. <laughs> We're going to follow right. a couple of chocolate rules, which is um, crucial. The first one is melting the chocolate. Right. So we tend to use a 90% um, cocoa solid just because it's got less sugar and it's easier to work with. So the thing with chocolate is it always needs to be in a glass bowl. Don't put it in the microwave. We're going to do it on a pan, barely simmering water and just let it do its thing. Don't be beaten. Don't stir it. Just okay. let it literally melt. Blue Peter style, do not worry. We've Good. got one pre-melted for you. I mean, melted chocolate's amazing. Because we're not stirring it, look at the sheen on it. And it that's is, what we want to keep. We want to keep that shine to it and kind of work in it. It's still warm, but you can still touch it. It's not boiling. Yeah. Key to it, body temperature is really good. Okay. Any higher, we don't want to go with. Right. So, um, the great thing about this recipe is that you can adjust it to your ratio. So, key to cold, right. three to one and four to one. Obviously, we're going to use the vanilla because it adds that little bit of sweetness to it yeah. without giving us anything to it. All we're going to do is sprinkle in 
okay a little bit at a time and just be gentle with it we don't want to kind of overbeat it you don't want to put loads of air in it so how much keto cow would you put in to chocolate or is it literally personally to that ratio it's personal to the ratio and it's de depending on what you want to make because we're going to kind of make a batch make of this yeah if you wanted to work out one ratio it's 25 grams and 20 grams that gives you that ratio right so okay. you can so work out at. yeah so. specifically that's just for one so as, as a recipe because it's easy to kind of batch make yeah make some things in it but you can work it out so that's the basic mixture okay and we're gentle and we're smoothing it lovely that and it's gone it. in really quick that is so easy it slightly melts but it's great yeah. so to make a lollipop dead 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 easy we're gonna take a tray we've lined it with some grease proof Okay. And all you're going to do is you're going to spoon two spoons on it. That's Over it. to you. That's it. Right. I, I'm not a fancy cook. I bake in there, but I'm not a fancy cook. I warn you, I can make a mess of everything. <laughs> so we've, it's all mixed in. So literally two spoons. Yeah. yeah. So one. Cake pop sticks, you can get these from all supermarkets. The plastic, you can get white ones. You can get skewers if you want to cut them down. Yeah. If you go to a coffee shop, you can always take the coffee stirrers <laughs> if you kind of want to do them, which we like. Right. Um, okay. So pop that into the middle. So just, it's going to go on the edge of it. That's it, it that do it that way. way. And then just, I'm going to just coat it. Just turn it over. All right, okay. It just means it's going to seal. Right. Take it as close to the top as you can okay to then get a perfect circle all right. you're then going to do is just give it a little wobble that spreads it out it gives us a bigger surface to decorate it okay and it makes the lolly look better Lovely. so you can then choose whatever you want to do we've got some freeze-dried raspberries those are so cute we've got some sour cherries and whatever glitter you want to do so it's your lolly i think you should decorate right i'm going to be taking this home for matthew later on so do whatever he likes, he likes. well so we just kind of, we can just sprinkle. I do like the pink. So I'm just going to put, now using freeze dried, these weigh really light. So I'm presuming you get more for these. Yeah. So an ounce of this works out like a tablespoon. So actually on this, it's classed as real enough as free because that is not going to weigh anything. Right. Okay. Which is better because you can add a little bit more. Right. And you've got that flavour with it as well, I suppose. Instant hit, so it's much, much better. So, and they, quite go, they go quite chewy, because it'll absorb a little bit of the moisture from there, so rather than being freeze-dried, you kind of get that little bit of a chill. Lovely. Which is great. Right, I'm just going to have raspberries okay. and some, and let's put some drop stars on for him. See, this is my little star. Sprinkle them straight on. Oh, right, okay. see anybody not finding that helpful especially when we've got uh, festive seasons and celebrations coming up it's some of the biggest questions that we get at the keto kitchen Derek you're amazing we try brilliant it's, it's only one cup but it's worked we, <laughs> yeah. like it. we like it we like it anyway thanks very much for tuning in and we'll see you again soon